Hey guys, welcome back. Go check out that, uh, that and other DVs over at sorgatronmedia.com slash store. And of course, check out more uh, with the uh, Renegade Wrestling Alliance at rwalive.com. I have a new D DVD coming out uh, in the next few weeks, Fury 5. Sounds like there's some great things that happened there. I did not attend, but I will be editing that very soon. Confetti is involved, I'm told. So instead, now it's time for that segment y'all love. Remember when? Will's best Madison Rising impression. This week on Remember <laughs> When, of course, we had the big introduction last night. A <laughs> pen Points. through the Points. hand <laughs> from Undertaker to Brock Lesnar to start that feud. Although I think you can arguably that started back at an incident at UFC a few years ago. Um, but uh, so there's been uh, plenty of feuds going into WrestleMania over the year. And it was a great idea. I think, I think Mike, you, you came up with this. What were your best feud starters that you remember over the years um and mike since you started it do you do you want to go with the first answer then hmm? D do you want to let us know your oh. first remember oh, when yeah i'm uh, sorry I, <laughs> no it problem cut, it cut out for a second okay um uh the first one that came to mind for me was the start of the jericho michaels feud for mm. wrestlemania 19 yeah um like, it started out with Jericho saying that he wanted, you know, that he idolized Shawn Michaels and everything like that. He wanted to do all the stuff Shawn Michaels would do. So it ended up being with Shawn Michaels and Chris Jericho declaring themselves entrance one and two for the Rumble that year. Mm -hmm. Because Jericho wanted to do what Shawn Michaels had done. And then when the Rumble happened, Shawn was already in the ring and Jericho's entrance hit. But it was Christian in the entranceway doing the Jericho pose. And then Jericho snuck up behind Michaels, beat his ass with a chair, and eliminated him. <laughs> it, was, it was awesome. Nice. Uh, what about you, Matt Carlins? Trying to think of which old school one I want to go with. So I think Hogan Andre is a little too cliche and played out. So I will go with the start of the Hogan Savage feud just because it was mm. so deliberately set into motion when Savage won the belt at WrestleMania 4. There are moments during Savage's celebration where I think Hogan plays grab ass with Liz for a split sec. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. His memory is frozen. <laughs> oh, and then that, that grab ass was real. Exploded. <laughs> Perhaps. I just, uh, but I like that. I like the idea of that really long build. Back in the day, of the really long build. Yeah, that right was before, one of the best builds for a WrestleMania main event ever. And right that before Mania, they had uh, five. They, they had Savage doing that whole like it had to be a ten minute long um, clip show of him explaining every single thing that happened. They did, and I, I, you know, I, I feel I gotta YouTube that or something and check that out. But yeah, they went back and they explained the entire thing. And by the end, you know, you're just like, I mean, that uh, WrestleMania five was a monster for, um, you know, you know, and that's one uh, that was on that rivalries DVD that we talked about in the last few months. Um, and, and I love that's the one where CM Punk says, actually, Hogan was the heel. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, that, mm -hmm. that, that's how good that was. Uh, Riz, mm -hmm. how about you? I'm a big Bret Hart fan. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I watched. WrestleMania nine on uh, DVD, yeah, or on a DVD on VHS one once, <laughs> and then I re and I and then I realized that was the start of WrestleMania ten feud because it was Bret Hart who lost to Yokozuna, yeah, and Bret Hart got his revenge by beating Yokozuna the next year at WrestleMania, so there was a lot of build up to that match, and it was one of the best one of the better ones i think i've seen it started at wrestlemania with a feud it wasn't a it wasn't really a match like the rock and cena and it just happened again it was oh he lost never got an, a real title shot against yokozuna when he lost his rematch when he lost his match when hogan came up and won and then 
never nothing really happened of it until WrestleMania 10 when he won it again after being beaten by Owen Hart hmm. the same night. Hmm. All right. I like that one. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. I like that. Uh, what like about you, too. Wheels? I, I've been sitting here thinking while everybody's talking. I'm like, and honestly, I have to say almost like last year with CM Punk and Taker. I mean, maybe I'm partial because of the great promo work that Punk did with the juggling the urn and just dropping it. I laughed very much and I went, <laughs> I don't care if Taker's the good guy. I loved Punk for doing this and I enjoyed it so much that it built and the match was really good for both of them. Awesome. What about you, LB? Uh, I really enjoyed the uh, Shawn Michaels Undertaker build uh, from, I think it was WrestleMania 20, actually, their first match, because it was uh, it was like Shawn saying, you know, I'm your polar opposite and everything like that. But he kept getting the better of the Undertaker. He wouldn't uh, he wouldn't he would hit him and run away and he uh he would taunt him and he would do this thing that you know people hadn't really done to the undertaker before which kind of take the piss out of him and uh it was it was fun to watch all the way up to the actual entrance of the match in which you know the undertaker rises out of the ground in the darkness and all that shit but uh sean descended from the heavens and wore you know a white coat and all that shit it was just it was so well done and it was. It could have been a thing where the match easily didn't live up to the hype, but it it exceeded it. So yeah, I think that was twenty four. Mm-hmm. Uh, what about you, uh, Bobby? Uh, mine. I I don't know if this was like the start of the feud, but when they brought Mike Tyson in for the uh, Michaels and uh, Stone Cold match at WrestleMania fourteen, uh, and just the outcome of that with him siding with the X at first, and then just at the end flipping to, to be on Austin's side. I think that was awesome. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. so, uh, since you just took mine, um, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's all right. I'll leave. <laughs> You're not <laughs> allowed to be here anymore. Uh, my, in the car, but awesome. I got a backup. I got a backup in my pocket. Um, the, the best was, um, uh, and I can't remember like the start start of it. Like the what I remember is Sergeant Slaughter beating Warrior for the oh, belt yeah. at Rumble, and that parlayed into all the stuff that led to you know the the foregone conclusion of Sergeant Slaughter and Hulk Hogan as he started downing America. I think at this point we start burning flags and we start. Then they burn like Hogan's shirt as a flag one time, um, yep. which I mean, is worse. He was really charged, and as like you know being the age I was. And not really knowing wrestling wasn't real. <laughs> it, was, it was just like, how do they let this guy in the country at this point? There is a war going on. You know, uh, the, the, the first war in my young, like, remembrance, I, I recall. Um, and I didn't also didn't understand why there were trading cards about Desert, Desert Storm as well. Uh, so that furthered to... Ah, I had of, some of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I had a couple of those. Sarah Norman Schwarzkopf. Yeah, that was weird. That was really weird. But it was a weird just time in our nation's pause. history. So there you go. Yeah, it was a weird time. Monetization of war, uh, different than what they're doing today. The '90s were profiteering. Weird. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but with that, that, I mean, that was mine. Before. I mean, that was that was a real big moment. You know, I mean, and of course, you know, Hulk Hogan come around, come back around, and and it was good. It was a good time. Uh, WrestleMania Seven probably is one of my favorite Good WrestleManias. Good times. No, and I, Good you time. can let us know what your favorite moment was at Good Times at WrestlingMayhemShow dot com on the Facebook group on uh, on on the Twitter on at Mayhem Show uh, Google.